this course, to complete some of your assignments, you will need the student data files provided to you by the book publisher. Now, if you go by the directions in the book, that process is kind of hard because it takes you to the book companion website and you have to download those files and it's an executable and let's not get into that. So we've tried to make it a little bit easier for you. When you come into the D2L course, you should click on the content area and when you get there, each of the units has its own module. Within each of the units modules, there is a file called Word Unit Student Data Files, or if it was PowerPoint, it'd be PowerPoint Unit Student Data Files. And this is a zip file of all the files you need to create your work. You can tell it's a zip file because the icon looks like a paper with a little zipper on it. When you click on that file, it's going to tell you it can't be viewed in the content viewer, but you need to download it. If you're in D2L, I'm going to assume that you're using Firefox. Firefox is the best browser that you can use and it was what D2L was built with. We'll go ahead and click download and it'll ask you do you want to open it or do you want to save it. We're going to automatically choose save and it will put it in a folder called downloads on your computer. So you'll see this download screen and it, you'll see it downloading right now. It's finished. And so what we need to do is find this folder on our computer. There are two ways to do this. We can click on the Start menu, go to our username, and there's the Downloads folder. Or another way, if you have this download screen still open, you can right-click on it, and you can do Open Containing Folder. And it'll automatically open up that Downloads folder for you. So we need to go ahead and put this on our flash drive where all of our files for this class are located. You can unzip it here, but it kind of makes a mess when you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Start menu, Computer, and open up my flash drive, go into my class folder, and into the Word unit because these are the files I just downloaded. And I can put them right next to each other so I can move it from the Downloads folder into my flash drive. So it's still not ready, you still can't work with it because it's still in that zipped folder. So I'll go ahead and double click on the folder and click this Extract All Files button. And when this dialog opens, it says it's going to extract it to the folder on your flash drive within the CIS-118 folder, within the Word folder, and it's going to create a folder for it called Word Data Files. And if you click this, Show Extracted Files When Complete, and hit Extract, it will take, it depends on how big that folder is, but it might take a few minutes and then it'll show you that folder with all your data files according to chapter. So that does kind of mean there's a lot of folders open, so I like to close all of them, at least those relating to the flash drive, and I'll go to Computer, Flash Drive, CIS-118, Word, and then we have the extracted one. It looks like an open folder, and if we look at these big versions, it looks like an open folder, and these are the ones I need, and here's the original zip folder. If this one is fine, then all I need to do is right click and delete that original zip folder and there's all my data files. So when I start creating my work for let's say chapter one, if I go ahead and show you a different view, there's pictures of the dog for the found dog flyer, there's a karate flyer, there's a picture of a sleeping student for one of your labs. So that's all the data files that you need according to the book for this unit.